now he's gonna eat the freaking the, the jack! Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> wall. Oh, this one's huge. What is going on YouTube? As you can see, I've got a mess of rods behind me. I've been doing some rod repairs lately, but today we go out and we fish the most insane pond, little pond right here in Florida that I've ever fished in my life. So check out the footage. At the end of the video, I will be going over the gear we used. So stay tuned for that. Dude, that's huge! Giant kuda on top water, baby. They're underneath him? Don't let her snip the line. Dude, get in. I told you there's big kudos in here, dude. I'll, I'll try and get him. Holy shit, dude. Oh, he's wrapped bad. Pull that thing out, bro. Look at that, bro. Look at the teeth. Monster barracuda on top water, dude. Let's see if this guy kick. <laughs> Come on, buddy. I think he's going. He's figuring it out. He's swimming sideways a little bit at first. Big Goliath comes out. Look at that thing. If he comes back, we'll revive him again. But I think he's fine. He's figuring it out. He went down now. Oh, yeah. That was crazy. That was giant. Absolutely giant. Mahara. This big ass hook. Here they are. Here's the cutest. Oh my god, there's a Goliath grouper right here. Freaking Goliath grouper, 50 pounder, sitting on the surface. Chilling. Giant on the freaking live Mahara.
Bueno. Going out, he's going out. What is that? This is that wall he probably breaks everyone off. Is it? Oh yeah, it's like a 30 pound jet. <laughs> It's like, dude, you're going the wrong way. There's no possible way we could have got him over there. Oh my god. Dude, this is unstoppable fit. I hooked it, like, it was not getting turned. It was not getting turned by anything. Out and then drag him over. It's gonna get me wrapped if I don't. Oh my god. That's PB. That's bigger than the other one I got. Holy crap. Yeah. Dude, I literally just threw it right in the middle when they were blowing up. Too. This is literally like, it's fun though. It's cool. just full of jacks and giant kudas. <laughs> it's so fun though. Oh yeah. Look at that rod, man. It's actually like good to the test right there. <laughs> oh yeah. This is the biggest fish I've hooked on this one. Were you filming too the whole time? Yeah. I think I turned it on after the bite, but who cares? They basically came up schooled right in front of us and then I threw that dead Mahara right on top of them. like the biggest jack I think I've ever seen actually <laughs> like in my life that's like the biggest jack I've ever seen it's like a GT <laughs> it's literally like GT fishing did you see me running all over the place <laughs> it, was, it was like it was like rubbing on the wall like oh my god I don't know how I still have them on. That's like a 30 pound jack, dude. Okay, I have a major fray. Major. You see it? Halfway up the leader. Yeah. That's like massive, dude. What the hell? I did not even think Jack caught that. Yeah, it like sticks out in the middle perfectly. Oh my god. Oh, there is one with him, dude. There is one. Yeah, you see him? They're, he's right behind him. Oh my god. Look at him, see? There's like two or three of them with him. Try to get another one. <laughs> when they come up next to him, just kind of like. I think they'll hit it by just like. Oh, they're right behind them again, dude. Oh my god! They're just cruising. Oh my god. Dude, he's right there. He's still there. He's still there. Go, 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 go. Imagine getting that blow up like right next to him. He's following the Cuda. He's going to eat the Cuda. Or he's going to eat the freaking the, the Jack. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> I've never had more fun with Giant Jacks and Cuda ever. No, this is like possibly close to the state record. I don't even know what the record is though. Hey, do you see that? He's like turning on the, the side of the line. Go and bring it down. Oh. 
I don't know. It's going to take a while to do this. I think he's pretty much worn out now. Yeah, this is way bigger than the last one. Got him? Oh my god. Still so sharp. Really? Yeah. I guess when they get that big. Yeah, he's like at least At least. Look at him drumming. That's a loud deep croak, dude. Look at his mouth. Look at that. I can fit my freaking fist in there. Jesus. Is that what cut you right here? Oh yeah. It's super sharp. Big of that, dude. Yeah. If I didn't hook him like that, he would have probably broken. Oh yeah, no, definitely. He only had 30 Tiny pound little hook, 40 pound test. Dude, that croak is so much like deeper. It's super deep. Big. It's crazy. I know. I know it's heavy, right? It's so What's going on guys? Hope you enjoyed the footage. That was the most crazy pond I've ever been to in my life, to say the least. Um, I just wanted to go over quickly the gear we were using. Today I was using the Vanstall VR200, the biggest VR series with 30 pound braid, a ton of it. And at the business end here, we have got a big old circle hook on 50 pound Big ol' circle hook on 50 pound mono leader. And we were using big, big live baits. You never know what's in your pond in Florida unless you go out and start fishing it. So definitely look around guys. You never know what you might be fishing for. Previously I had the VR200 on a Shimano Terramar, but right now I've actually got it on a Feltman Fishing Co. Eight foot heavy, the same weight rod, but my version of it if you are interested in a rod custom rod something like this i also have done some bass rods as well as bait casters and stuff like that just let me know this is one of my prototypes that i've got going right here i don't know if you can see that Filming the fishing co this rod is not fully done yet it's just a uh prototype I've got going with microwave guides on there. Yeah, guys, if you are interested in getting a custom rod or even just rod repairs done, just hit me up on Instagram at Gabe Feltman, no spaces, no underscores. I will include that in the description of the video as well. Also, guys, I would like to also point out that I do have a link in the description for my custom hand-tied flare hawk jigs. This is a three ounce in pearl white color here. And they are absolutely tearing up the snook lately, guys. I will have a video of us destroying them on these exact jigs. All kinds of sizes, even one quarter ounce peahawk sizes, um, all kinds of custom stuff. I also have some slow pitch jigs coming out soon. So it will be an eBay link in the description below. I've been selling them on eBay so far, guys. And if you wanna help me out and buy some of my custom jigs, just click that link and let me know what you think about them, guys. I really appreciate all the support. And as always, tight lines.